So before we begin today's video, please do check out the Notion Made Simple course and Notion Mastery by Marie Poulin if you're looking to learn the art of Notion. Now, today is the exciting news that Notion's API is finally released. In today's video, we're going to overview what an API is, what it will do, and how it will impact the future of Notion. So let's start with API. For those folks out there who might not know what an API is, I actually didn't know what it stood for. It actually stands for Application Programming Interface. Essentially, this means an interface that defines interactions between multiple software applications. So basically, the relationships between Notion and other apps. So out of the box today, Notion will be releasing this in public beta. It won't have an integrations directory. However, there are a few integrations coming out today, and Notion do plan on adding more features and functionality, and also an integrations directory when they come closer to launch, and they remove the beta label from it. So this release is very much developer focused. So what does this release allow people to do? So let's take a developer for an example. A great tweet from Bailey Kusar said, she says, at the weekend they're planning a hack day with the new Notion API, and they've had a few ideas of what they could use it for. For example, an app to convert pages into slide decks, ways to add tasks from email, and a way to linking meeting notes to Google Calendar. Sounds like they can have a busy weekend, but it gives you an idea of some of the ways that you could connect Notion with other applications using that API. So Notion have also released an integration with Automate.io. This is a great way, a workflow automation tool, helping you to repeat repetitive part tasks and processes with Notion. And they say that you can connect Notion with up to 200 applications. You can find out more about the API at developers.notion.com. But this is my opinions on how it will impact the future. So Notion has an exciting future with the API, mainly because once it's out, it means that independent developers, like everyday people who build applications, can build experiences while still having Notion as their core. So for example, they could build their own applications and it could potentially open up a new marketplace for applications, a little bit like how we have a Google Chrome marketplace inside of Chrome. For example, even if an application like Todoist wanted to create a Notion application, they could, allowing you to manage your tasks from Todoist inside of Notion. And there's so much more capabilities that existing applications that complement Notion could be able to have built in. I definitely think in the future, this will play a particular role with database templates, allowing you to create some really great automated setups just by creating something once and not having to be repeated several times. And I think in the future, it will definitely make our dashboards and setups that we've built inside of Notion uh, more contextual with information flowing in and out as we work and use the tools. So in terms of automation and being able to have those relationships, it's definitely a huge step forward for Notion. And I think it's really in the hands of those external developers that can really take it a lot further and really grow the application out into being more of a hub experience that connects with existing tools and layouts. So folks, hopefully that was a useful guide to the API. I'll include all of the relevant stuff in the description below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and please do check out all of our courses that will be in the description below. Anyway guys, please do subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.